There's plenty to see and do in Nashville outside the opera land. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter had the chance to visit the farm of one American president who not only loved our great country, but also the cattle industry. Andrew Jackson was the seventh president in the United States. He gained his initial national fame by winning the Battle of New Orleans at the end of the War of 1812. After that, he sort of became a national hero. Today's Americans may know President Jackson for his place of honor on the $20 bill, but Andrew Jackson came from humble beginnings before being celebrated as a president and war hero. Andrew Jackson was a, um, a character would be a good word to describe him. He had come up uh, from poverty. His family was Irish immigrants. They moved to the United States, or what would become the United States, just before his birth. And his father died just before he was born. His mother died when he was a teenager. Both of his brothers died during the Revolutionary War. And so he had to make the way, his way in the world by himself. And uh, he didn't have the kind of education and background that a lot of the earlier presidents had had. President Jackson spent most of his career as an attorney and nearly all his adult life in Middle Tennessee. It's where he built his home, the Hermitage. Today, it's a historic museum, but in Jackson's day, it was a working farm. In his day, they grew cotton as the cash crop. They grew approximately two to 300 acres of cotton. Then they also grew corn, wheat, oats, other crops that they needed to sustain the family life and the animal life on the farm. He also had 150 slaves, so they grew several large fields of sweet potatoes and Irish potatoes. Today, Jackson's farm includes a small herd of belted Galloways, but during his time, the more than 1,100 acres were home to beef and dairy cattle. Andrew Jackson did have some livestock. He uh, had cattle, uh, probably just a few, mostly for beef purposes. Actually, after he died, his family kind of got into the dairy business and sold butter. Uh, the 1850 agricultural census uh, shows them selling a thousand pounds of butter that year. Jackson lived at the Hermitage with his wife Rachel and their adopted sons. The Hermitage still honors the couple and their legacy today. In addition to the, the farm crop, demonstration crops we grow, we have a one acre pleasure garden that is the garden that Jackson had designed for his wife Rachel and we grow mostly the kinds of plants that would have been available in the middle 1800s. They were buried in the garden so his tomb is here also as part of the garden. So uh, you get the full experience, his home, his first home, his tomb, uh, it's all right here. The preservation of the Hermitage is a way to honor this seventh president of the United States known as a champion of the common man. In Nashville, Tennessee, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattleman to Cattleman. The Hermitage is quite a sight to see in Tennessee, especially if you plan to join us for next year's Cattle Industry Annual Convention and NCBA Trade Show. The 2017 convention runs from February 1st through the 3rd at the Opperland Hotel. You can go to the website beefusa.org for all the details on this can't-miss event. <music>